Hi, this is Scott here. I just want to talk about in uh, Xlights 2021.16, I had support for the WLED controller upload. So this basically allows uh, Xlights, we can set up our models in Xlights and then we can hit the upload button and it'll automatically configure uh, the WLED with the string outputs and the E131 slash ArtNet or DDP input sync protocols. Um, it does require a special build of WLED. So it requires build uh, it's the May 10th build. It's like a 12.1 beta right now. So um, if you go to the WLED website, you can just download the source code and flash it. That's what I've been doing with uh, VS Code. So it's this build here um, or newer, any of the newer ones build. I have, I think, 2020 on mine right now. Um, or you know, May 20th build up here. Or if you don't want to flash it from uh, VS Code, there is this ability if you go to the actions in WLED and go to the platform CI and just click the newest one. There are binaries down here you can download as well. So if you want to just get like the 32, you should be able to flash your 32 as well with that. Hopefully in the future, Air Cookie, he will make a, maybe a newer release, 12.1, or maybe he'll make a 12.1 beta with this feature caked in. But for now, you kind of have to flash it either from the debugger or get a, a beta build. Um, but what this allows us to do is in Xlights now, we can add an Ethernet controller. And under the vendors, there's always been a WLED, but it was just kind of a generic one. Um, I've added some more options now, so you can add the the Quindor boards, so um, I know Dr. Z sells those and those are kind of popular, so you can do the Quad or the Uno, or there's just an option for WLED. And when you do WLED, it allows you to then select what type of module you're using, if you're using an ESP8266 or an ESP32. If you're using an 8266, it allows you to do three outputs. Um, if you're doing an ESP32, it allows you to do eight. So I'm going to select ESP32 because that's what I have plugged in. Um, this is my controller. I just have, it's an ESP32 module. Um, I have, this is the May 20th build, so it's new enough. And um, so you have to have that, and that allows us to configure it. If I go to the LED preferences right now, I don't have anything set up in my outputs. And then we'll uh, we'll set it up in Xlights and we'll push it and it should update these pages. So in Xlights, I added you know controller the basic thing we do. I'll uh, I'll put my IP address in here of that controller. It was one four nine. Um, just for kind of a demo purpose. So we to use the visualizer, we have to do auto layout models, and then I always do auto size. Um, for demonstration, I'm going to start at universe 10 just to show that that actually works. Um, once we have that set up, I'm just going to hit save in here for now. Then we should be able to go to the visualizer here. And I just have a generic tree with four strings and the layout tab right now and a star. We should be able to just drag this onto the controller here. So I put four strings tree, which is 100 pixels on the first four, and then we got 50 on the fifth port. I'm just going to add that, hit save. Since we have auto size, Xlights automatically added more universes. Um, based on documentation I've read, I think WLED can handle about eight universes on the 32, so we're under that limit right now. And once we have our configuration set up how we'd like it, we should just be able to hit upload output here. And this will automatically, it did it rather quickly. So take those model definitions and put them in our controller. So we changed the E131 to 10. So if I go into the sync interface here, now we have our start universe at 10, which matches X lights. And then if we go to uh, the LED preferences, it also added the five strings um, and it added so count of 100, and then the next one did start count, and it did all the math to figure out the total LEDs, which was 450, because we had a tree of four 100, four 100 strings, and then the star 50, and then it went through and added all of the other strings. One thing to note in WLED is Xlights has to kind of tell you what the pins are. So uh, how this works right now in Xlights is we have this controller config, um, file 
and I put all the pin definitions in here. Um, for the generic ones, I kind of just used ones that historically were hard coded in WLAD. So I don't know if these are 100% correct. Um, you can always change them. And if you change them in here, in your, uh, in your upload here, the next time you upload, it'll remember this. So Xlights won't override these. If they're already in here, it'll find the last one and use it again. It'll only um, override it if it's adding a new string. So if you were using like string seven or eight, it'll create, it'll basically get the pin map from here. If it doesn't already exist. Um, the Quindor LEDs, I kind of took off his website for the V3 or V2. Um, if they're not correct, uh, just please let me know and I can update these if needed. So, um, yeah, that, that's kind of the basics of it. There's not much to it more. Um, when it does upload, it does reboot the controller. So in theory, it sh once it reboots the controller, uh, your sync interface should be all set up correctly and you should just be able to uh, you know, send data from Xlights and be all set. So um, if you have any questions or feedback, just uh, please let me know. Thanks.